Hello everyone, welcome to another classic toy review here at ScorcherToys at AnyMoon.com. Today I'm looking at Takatoku's Batroid Valkyrie toys. These are a little bit of an oddball. You can get lots of different Batroid Valkyrie toys from Takatoku. These are the ones that stood about 11 centimeters tall. That's about 1 1 15 scale. So they're a little bit larger than the Collector's Series, the 1 1 44 scale VF1 toys that were out there but they're gonna be smaller than the GBP 176 toys uh, and some of the vinyl toys that are out there. So these are the ones that come in a box that looks like this. There's the deluxe version that actually is only available via the gift set that comes with the deluxe version mini metal SDF-1 as well. The regular version is a solo packaged item. No matter which version you get, the only accessory that comes with it is a gun. When you first pull these toys out of their styrofoam trays, you'll notice there's a lot of good heft there. That core is all metal. It's painted metal. Uh, because it's painted metal, you do have to watch for rub on the styrofoam tray. That might take some of the paint off here. Now, it being metal, uh, you can tell that there is a color difference between all the plastic appendages, particularly since this is now like a 35-year-old toy. So that's not entirely unexpected. If we look at the deluxe version of the toy, you get that metal paint scheme, which makes it a lot less obvious that there's two different materials going on. You also get that sticker on the arm, which makes the arms look a little bit more attractive. Turning the toy around, you do get some big cavities and a bunch of screw holes. So clearly, Takatoko didn't envision you having the toy turned around very often. If we rotate the toys to the side, you can see the front of the feet are painted, but not the back. Also, my deluxe version has a uh, mold issue. Something happened to the foot. That's unfortunate to see. Now, as far as other durability issues, again, I got a little looseness on the hips over here. Nothing too bad. There's no articulation at the head, but if someone tried to force it, they might break these head lasers. So that's something you'd want to look out for if you were buying these toys secondhand. And that is why I do these classic toy reviews, not to make fun of any uh, anyone's childhood cherished toys, but just to help you figure out if you're out and shopping, see these toys secondhand, how much you should be willing to spend on them. Now, there isn't much in the way of articulation. I told you the head does not articulate. You shouldn't try to force it. The legs come forward a little bit. Uh, they come back much further, uh, but there's no other articulation in the legs, so you can't really get it to stand other than very minor stepping poses. The shoulders do spin all the way around, uh, but again, you can't really do much with them because all you're doing is pivoting at the shoulder, so you can't get very many natural uh, gun poses. So if we take our gun, which oddly has a square peg that goes into a giant round hole, you can, you can make it look fine just standing still, which is probably what I'd recommend. You can get it pointing the gun but it's probably gonna look a little awkward. Now you can rotate that gun around since it's sitting in a circular hole, uh, but again, not much benefit to it. So I would probably just recommend if you're gonna buy this toy, buy it thinking that you're gonna have it standing in kind of a stoic uh, holding the gun or not holding the gun Batroid pose, because that's all there is to it. Now I haven't mentioned it, Obviously these toys do not transform. There's no real gimmicks at all to these toys other than the fact that they stand and are Batroid Valkyries. That is it. So, you can hopefully now decide how much this is, how much you are willing to pay for these items. The, again, they're about 11 centimeters tall, which is one 115 scale. Here's a quick scale comparison shot for you. You can see, um, doesn't really, it's not gonna fit in with pretty much any of your other toys. Uh, it was kind of, it stands alone being the size it is. It's not gonna fit with those 1144s. Uh, it's not gonna fit with anything else. So you're buying it just to have it stand as is alone. Uh, maybe it, maybe you're going for a progression of size Valkyries and this will fit in there somewhere, but that's really about it. Here's a line art comparison. You can see that uh, Takatoku did like chunky Batroid modes, and this certainly is no exception there. This is one of the chunkier pieces of Lion Art too, so you can kind of see it. Uh, it definitely is a very full-bodied Batroid to toy. All right, check out AnyMoon.com for my full article, and as always, thanks for watching.